Welcome back. Prices of Delhi Mumbai air tickets have shot up nearly 300%. Passengers are crying foul. Airline companies are blaming the hike on the closure of the main Mumbai runway for eight hours every day and the kiosk at T3 terminal in Delhi. But the Director General of Civil Aviation has cracked the whip. They insist there is no justification for hiking the rates and have issued notices to CEOs of private airlines. Polomi Saha brings you this report. Delhi Mumbai airfare rupees a 20,000 economy. Delhi Mumbai airfare rupees 35,000 business class. Delhi London Delhi rupees 35,000. A return trip to London is cheaper than flying to Mumbai and back. While almost all domestic sectors are seeing a seasonal 15% to 25% rise in fares, the Delhi-Mumbai hike was as high as 300%. Yeah, it's difficult actually, the increase of plane fare, like, you know, we have to postpone, like, uh, we had plans to visit uh, this year only. The ticket was booking, and the ticket was booking, and the ticket was booking, and the ticket was booking, टिकट इतना इंक्रीज हो गया इसलिए हम लोग तो कैसे जाएगा इस सोचता हम लोग कैसे जाएगा एविएशन एक्सपर्ट से डी मेन रीजन फॉर डी फेयर हाइक इस डी एट आवर डे क्लोजर ऑफ डी मेन रनवे ऑफ डी मुंबई एयरपोर्ट बिकॉज़ ऑफ़ व्हिच लैंडिंग एंड टेक ऑफ़ स्लॉट्स हैव बीन सेवरली कर्टेल्ड एस अगेंस्ट 573 स्� the industry should not be allowed to exploit the consumer. But at the same time, there has to be a certain amount of flexibility for the industry to cater to the demand and supply. But we have to set up an upper ceiling. I agree with you that uh, 9,000 rupees one-way fare is too much of a fare. The delay that Delhi's new T3 terminal has added to the bows. Air India, Jet and Kingfisher now operate from this swank new terminal. Um, a lot of airlines have actually grounded the planes because of various reasons. Um, so there are at least 40 to 45 aircrafts grounded between airlines right now. Uh, the other reason is that Bombay Airport is also undergoing renovation, so they've reduced the number of slots which are coming into uh, Bombay. And the third reason is also the move from Delhi uh, terminals uh, into Terminal 3, so because of which uh, a lot of airlines are actually uh, flying with reduced capacity. However, the Directorate General of Civil Aviation finds no justification for these exorbitant airfares. The DGCA has issued a notice to all airlines to explain the up to 300% hike in ticket prices. Compounding the problem is the fact that some airlines are unable to operate their full quota of flights, enabling other airlines to make a killing. In the bargain, passengers are the worst hit. With airlines having their way and charging exorbitant fares, hapless passengers are left with no choice but to empty their pockets. It is now for the government to step in and stop this airline free for all. With Bureau Inputs, Polomi Saha in Delhi for headlines today.